then she can heal herself with a mid tonic immediately afterwards. That is that is pretty much the secret there. Just use a mid tonic. Don't bother trying to heal with aura or anything like that. Oh, we don't even need to do that because down goes Crowley. I mean, it's not it's not a hard fight at all. Really, I don't understand. You get 100 experience points and 500 gold and a mid ether. And a level up for Limea. Awesome. I hardly consider it a boss fight. But, yeah, there it is. I do need to heal, though. With, apparently, the boss of the sewer is gone, let's just keep going. I, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't really consider him a boss fight, but he's officially, you know, kind of listed as one. We'll take on these guys again. No problem. God, I love that counterattack. <laughs> counterattack is awesome right now. Alright, so let's head here. We're gonna ignore that for now because there's a treasure chest over here with a bolt sword, which is awesome, and we're going to equip right away onto Vash. Oh man, that uh that rage band though. Oh, that's working wonders for me. So up by two. I don't know if it has any uh lightning damage to it, but you know, plus two attack so you might as well put it on anyway and since we're in the sewer it couldn't hurt to do some lightning damage to these water enemies you know and we've made it out sweet we're still in 2300 AD Death Peak huh I was told not to go to Death Peak instead I was supposed to go to Keeper's Dome but I'm going to drop a save because we are actually going to Death Peak because there is an item here that I want. Once again, just like uh, when we started the game, there's you know just one item that we want to get. You have to be very careful. The wind is very powerful here. We go right over here, and we get a power tab, and we get blown off the screen. <laughs> That's it. That's all I really wanted to do. So, yeah, basically, that's it. That's what we wanted to do. That, that's the optional side over. We just basically went ahead and did some stuff that we really weren't supposed to do at this point in the game. But, you know, it's easy at this point. You know, that boss fight was nothing, so we might as well just go back the way that we came. I think uh, we have to go back all the way around. I'm not sure, though. Actually, no, there is a shortcut. So let's go ahead and take the shortcut, <laughs> which is this way. Just need to press the switch. <laughs> That's what the enemies were trying to show us, and I just wasn't paying attention. So let's go this way, and then we can take on these eggers. So with this shortcut now in place, we don't have to travel all the way through the sewers, really. Again. So let's avoid all these traps. You know, we can just do a uh, do the small little thing there. I think we have to go around this way, and then up through here. And I don't think there's um there's any fights here that are required anymore, so we should just be able to head right back out onto the world map with no fights done. Sweet. So now uh, we need to actually go the way you know the game told us to go, which is up here through Lab 32. I'm gonna go uh, rest up at the Enertron, and I'll meet you right back here. Now let's go ahead and go into Lab 32, which is, once again, like a wasteland. I don't know why they call them labs. Uh, here, there's a treasure chest that's easily missed. There's a mid-tonic right, right in the front there. It's kind of easy to miss. So, don't forget it. Holy crap, what the hell is that? That must be the jet bike. I wonder if they give us the keys. We're going to ignore that for now. Just going to try to go east. We can take you guys on. This isn't going to be that bad of a problem. Why aren't you letting me attack? Hold it right there! Who the hell are you? Hey, it's... The man! Like, thanks for the intro, babe. The man! You lowlifes can call me Johnny. Now listen up, part of an old highway leads through these ruins. Think you can beat me in a bike race? Use that jet bike and don't chicken out, babe. Do you know how to ride? Honestly, I don't remember. Let's go ahead and say no. <laughs> the gas is on auto, so there's only one speed 
fast. Use the controller to steer for a turbo boost. I'll give you three of them. But it takes a moment to recharge between boosts. Check your position at the bottom of the screen. Now show me what you got. Okay. Um, hold on. Okay, I think I'm ready. Use that jet bike and don't chicken out, babe. Yeah, whatever. So let's go onto the jet bike. And we can see if I can get this done. I, don't, I honestly don't remember this. I don't remember how hard this was. I remember it, I heard it was hard. Right, we need to like try to get. Yeah, there we go. We want we want to um, you know do basically what he was doing, which is try to try to keep him behind us by bumping him constantly. But it's easier said than done. Let's boost. Yeah, see, I mean the boost does almost nothing. So, you know, I'm going to tr just try to aim it so that I, I boost right over the finish line before him. Like, right there! There you go. That's that's basically my strategy. <laughs> and I love that victory music. Yeah, that's the best way I know how to do it, is just try to make sure you got a clear lane and then hit it right at the last minute, and I barely won that one. That was a photo finish right there. Which is lucky, because I did not want to do that again. It's not that bad, but I remember it being so bad. I'm having such a hard time with that. But there we go. We've beaten you, Johnny. You beat me? I don't get it. You can challenge me anytime. Why ride the wind, babe? Uh, no. I'm good. <laughs> uh, you can actually um, go through it manually. Uh, without the, the jet bike, and, I'm, and that's what I'm going to be doing now. Uh, so, I'm going to try to go back. And, you know what? I'll just meet you uh, back on, on the other side. Uh, I'll reload a save as if I lost or something like that. And, and I'll meet you back over there. Alright, uh, from, from the beginning, they're not going to let me do this. Okay, so I actually do have to lose to him, so hold on while I lose. Now that I've lost, might as well just walk through it here. Uh, you want to do this for experience. Maybe that's just me. We can take on these guys. These are just regular mutants, if I remember correctly, and I usually do. You know, just, just for experience. Yeah, regular mutants. Let's keep going. We need to head east and fight more mutants. Awesome. I don't think there's any way, like, up or down. Oh, there is a treasure chest down here. You can clearly see it. <sighs> But there are shadow enemies here as well. Holy crap, that's a lot of shadow. Doesn't matter how many of them there are if they all bunch up like that. And here we get a race log, which is awesome. And we'll go over that a little bit later. I was about to say, are you going to fight me, mutant? Just the one? Oh, there we go. Uh, I was about to say, really? Just one? No, three. Now we can continue going east. And we find our way to the other side. Uh, that, so if you don't beat Johnny, that's how you go through. And th yeah, so hold on while I do go back and, and kick Johnny's ass. Okay, I did beat him, but now that we do have the race log, let's go ahead and talk to him. It looks like you have a neat gadget there. Ask RXXR how to use it. And that must be RXXR. Waddling on screen. Greetings, live forms! I am RXXR, the log keeper. I'll record your three fastest times. There are two ways to race, Johnny. Which do you prefer? Um, with Turbo Boost. Uh, we'll, we'll go with Turbo Boost, I guess, because that's what I did already. What? Yes. She prefer without boost. Zero, zero, zero. Okay, so I guess the ones that I do doesn't count until I talk to this guy the first time. So, yeah, it'll keep track of your best times here, which is kind of cool. Um, but I think um, it doesn't really give you anything. I don't remember, though. <laughs> it could definitely give you something, and I might have to go back and do that. Uh, the way that the points work is every time you're in the lead, you get points. Every time Johnny's in the lead, it takes away points from you. And that's pretty much it. Is there anything here at the, the skyscraper? No. Alright, so we have two options here. It looks like we have a factory. Because it doesn't look like there's anything up here. 
No, there's nothing over there. Damn your flashes of light and grumbling afterwards. Uh, and we got the protodome here. Either way, I'm dropping a save. It looks like we are headed into the protodome first. So let us go in there. I'm worried about this part. You know, uh, this is the thing that I remember most about Chrono Trigger is that, you know, it kind of begins kind of depressing, this whole depressing future type thing. You know, after after the first small dungeon, I mean, this is really where you spend most of your time is in the future here. Now we got to take on these bugger enemies. I hate these bugger enemies. Actually, those ones weren't nearly as bad as the other ones. They did not counter. But we've got four more? Really? Just... In just take a few steps, fight some more. But this has opened up an Enertron for us, so we'll go ahead and use that in there. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get fed. <gasps> HP MP restored! But you're still hungry. Everybody's so depressed that they are still hungry. And me saying that is starting to make me hungry, which is not good because it's far too late to me to be eating. Yeah, no. I don't like the looks of you. Am I going to have to fight you? Am I? What, what's this? It's in bad shape, but it appears to be a humanoid robot. Incredible! Are you sure we b should be repairing it? I mean, it might turn on us. I think I can fix it. What? It might attack us. I'll make sure it won't. Machines aren't capable of evil. Humans make them that way. Tara, you pity them, don't you? Let me get to work now, okay? And oh man, she's doing brain surgery. And the door won't budge. Right, that does it. I'm going to give it some juice. She just kind of poked it. That's giving it juice. Oh, it's uh, it's dancing. 